In this video, I'm gonna show you a powerful punch that's guaranteed to knock more people out. If I only had one punch for the rest of my life, this would be it. In the same weekend, we saw YouTuber Jake Paul, Muay Thai legend Bukau, and newly crowned UFC lightweight champion Islam Makachev use this punch to knock down their opponents in the main events of their respective shows. I'm gonna show you the fine details on how to throw a strong overhand punch. Remember, as martial artists, Rule number one, karate for defense only. Stay to the end of the video and I'll show you my favorite way to land this punch that'll work for you again and again. Don't forget to like and subscribe for daily Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu videos. The overhand is a very, very powerful punching technique. It allows you to kind of get yourself off the line so you can throw the attack as well as stay defended at the same time and generate a lot of uh, momentum from your body. So let me just demonstrate real quick for the overhand. Okay, so the, for, for my situation, my right hand's in the back, right? Some orthodox uh, fighter. So my cross would be like this. My overhand is gonna be coming up and over like this. So it's similar to the cross, but we're changing the trajectory and looping it kind of around. Okay, I'm still looking to hit my opponent's chin right at the jaw if I can, or the temple, and uh, create some, some, some really devastating power. So let's break this down a little bit. So now, first thing is I wanna step myself off the line slightly. So where I'm facing my partner directly, I wanna go ahead and step a little bit off the line. This is gonna take my head away from danger, okay? It's also gonna allow me to sink a little bit, just like this, okay? So as I move myself off the line, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the punch. And think about how you're throwing a baseball, you know, something like, like this type of angle. That's the kind of angle you're gonna throw your overhand, okay? So you're coming up and over your opponent's guard and downward towards their chin. So I step and I throw, I step, and I throw. Again, look at my thumb. I like it so my thumb is kind of pointed downward toward the floor, focusing on the first two knuckles, get a good connection on my training partner, or in this case, my opponent. Stepping and throwing. As with all punches, three points of cover is very important, keeping my hand covering my face, my chin down, and my shoulder protecting my face. Notice as I step, I'm taking myself off the line of sight of danger, and I throw my overhand, which allows me to connect sometimes at the same time my partner's throwing their cross. I can throw this behind a jab cross. One, two, okay, I'm sinking my body low. Before I share with you my favorite way to set up the overhand right, what do you think the most powerful punch is? Let me know in the comments below. If you're in Washington, D.C. and looking for a place to train, stop by Bait Academy for world-class jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai instruction. Sign up for a free class on our website, betaacademy.com. My favorite way of landing this punch is against the jab. I draw out the jab, and as they bring their hand back to their face, I throw the punch. Let's take a closer look at the action in slow motion. I have my hands down, maybe a little too much, but that encourages them to jab at my head. I stand just slightly out of range so that when they miss and draw their hand back, I follow with my overhand, which comes over their hand and over their shoulder and connects on the jaw. Let's see that one last time in real time. I hope that was helpful for you. I'll post up some recommended videos so you can continue to grow your martial arts skills. Keep training and I'll see you in the next video. That's good. Okay, but Sergio can't make that face. <laughs> you gotta like, yeah. Yeah, I'm chilling too much. You gotta be like, Yeah, push my face. Just push your cup. Just punch him.